Hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel, welcome back. Mariam here. I am freshly back from vacay. I just came back from Barcelona. I have tons of packages that have been sitting here waiting for me to unbox them and test out new makeup. So in today's video, that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be testing out, trying out, judging and discussing and giving my first impressions on all this new newness that is in front of me. It's a mess, it's a mess, I will admit, but as always, we will make some magic happen. That's basically the plan for today's video. So, without further ado, remember to subscribe if you aren't already, hit that notification bell, so you can watch all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos, obviously. And now, let's get into this new video, testing out new makeup. Duh, this is what we're all here for, to have fun and try things out. All right, let's do this. That was kind of a shaky intro, but that's okay. We're getting back in the swing of things. I am feeling fresh. I'm feeling renewed. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like I finally seen something different. You know, it's been a while since I've done any sort of international traveling outside of Mexico, but it's been a minute since I've been to Europe. And so the fact that I just went to Barcelona for my friend's wedding and then got a chance to just check out the scenery and extend our stay for a little bit. That was so needed. That was so necessary. So book that vacation if you have been feeling like you've been in a rut, like I was feeling. Now I'm definitely freshly inspired and I don't know, I just feel like I have more to give. I have more to share, so that's always good. Let's begin. So we've got so much new stuff in pretty much every single category, but first and foremost, I have this new Divine Skin Essence from the Pat McGrath. Looks pretty cool. Ooh, so I'm not really sure what this is. Looks like a duo phase type of serum, shake to mix, then sprinkle into palms or a cotton pad. Massage into the face and neck before applying serum or moisturizer. Avoid using around the eye contour area. Okay, this is skincare. I typically don't like to test skincare on my channel just because I think skincare is extremely individual. And honestly, I don't read reviews when it comes to skincare because nobody has my skin. And what works for one person may not work for another person with even the same skin type when it comes to skincare. But anyways, we will test this out because it's here. So we shook it up. Let's release some onto our palms. Oh, this looks milky. Smells rosy. I love the rosy scent. Reminds me of my grandma. Feels very luxurious. Very, very silky on the skin. Very moisturizing, like a moisturizer. But not greasy, not oily. Some on the neck as well. So this is water-based. It's got some glycerin. It's got some sweet almond oil. Some triglycerides. Some fragrance, but as always with ingredients, do your research, especially, especially when it comes to skincare. Let's move on. Let's go for the dewy skin cream from Tatcha. Just have it around, so I'm gonna apply just a little bit just to seal that in. And then I think I'm gonna move on to brows. I'm gonna give my skin a chance to absorb all the skincare before I move on to testing other products on top of it. Cause you know, mama is oily. I need time for all of the skincare to sink into my skin. Can't you just tell I look refreshed? I don't know. I don't even have any makeup on right now, but I feel like I look well rested. I do, even though I do have a slight jet lag, but still, I just feel good. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is try out this new product from Baybrow. I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand. I sure haven't, but they did send me their new Hold Up Brow Styling Wax and a spoolie with a brush. So this is supposed to be one of those laminating sort of brow waxes. I don't know how well this will work on me because my brows are pretty straight and they're pretty unruly, but this is what we're here to do. We're here to test out product and see if it works. So basically I'm just supposed to scoop out a little bit of product here. Oh, scooped out a lot. And then let me grab a little mirror. Everyone always asks me where this mirror is from and it is from Tatcha's PR. They sent it to me years ago and they also sent it to a bunch of other content creators, YouTubers, influencers. I don't even know what the word is at this point. So this is why you guys keep seeing it everywhere because literally um, everyone who creates beauty content probably has this mirror. Okay, I'm gonna brush this product through my brows. Wow, so far pretty promising. I definitely am liking how it's feeling so far. It feels kind of like a, a hybrid between a gel and a wax. I feel like I did a really great job of gluing down the front ends of my hair, but then the ends are still sticking out like little sticks, so I think I just need to pinch more product here. Yeah, just a pinch more product to glue this baby down. 
I feel like that did it. it looks really nice. Okay, babe brow. And then it says that if you really want to glue it down and laminate the brow, you just need to roll the brush over the wax and over your brow to just like solidify it in place. That looks super good. Super, super, super good. It's just we impressed. Wait, I just went to Barcelona. I should be speaking Catalan or at least Spanish. Yo soy impressed. Truth be told, my Spanish is not really that great anymore. I did take high school Spanish, eons ago, obviously. But after I started learning French in college and after I lived in Paris, my Spanish kind of just dissipated and I started confusing it with French. Every time I wanted to speak Spanish, French would come out. So it's not really at a good place. I really should take lessons. But my understanding of Spanish is really, really good. And my Spanglish, let me tell you, it is even better than my Spanish comprehension. I can speak New York Spanglish all day. Okay, so this brow is Definitely harder to glue down than this one. I feel it lifting off. So maybe it just needs a little bit more finessing, but so far I really like the result. Pretty cool. Hopefully it won't lift throughout the day. All right, leaving that alone, let's move on to this new product from LYS Beauty. It's called the No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick. I have it here in medium which is the shade Harmony. Love the packaging as always. Very cool triangle shape. Let's actually squeeze this all the way out. This is how much product you get, a decent amount. Kind of reminding me of the Hourglass Foundation Stick, which is an amazing foundation stick, just because it's a triangle shape. But what I'm gonna do is something different. I'm gonna apply this bronzer stick onto my bare skin. That was a lot, Mariam, girl. I mean, come on. Very, very creamy. All right, I'm gonna let that chill. I'm gonna let that chill for a second. Then I'm gonna find a brush, this one, my Bobbi Brown brush, and I'm gonna start blending that out. Quick, really nice shade, very, very, very easy formulation to blend. I do like the shade. Perhaps I didn't need all that much product on my cheek, but you know what, it's there, so I'm gonna bronze up. Wow, really, really, really lovely. Beautiful product on this initial application. Really lovely, and uh, it just glides across the skincare that I applied, and it becomes one with your skin. I mean, honestly, if I had really terrific skin, if I didn't have like little bumps and breakouts, I would just do this. I would apply my skincare, my SPF, and then I would just add a little bit of bronzer for like an everyday glowy, no makeup, makeup, make, no makeup, make, what? For an everyday glowy, no makeup makeup type of look, but you definitely don't need as much product as I applied on. This is way too much, it's way too bronzy, but I'm gonna add other products on top, so bear with me. Still letting my skincare sink in. So while I do that, let's test out some new eye products that I have from About Face by Halsey. We have these new, looks like eye crayons, very similar colors to her eyeliners. It's almost like matching shades, but I don't know if they actually are matching. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of shades. We have a matte white, we have some topaz, pretty blue. Well, it's pretty. The glide is nice, pigmentation is decent. The shade is definitely frosty, very reminiscent of Y2K, that Christina Aguilera generation of makeup. Let's see if I can blend that out with my finger just a little bit to diffuse it. Pretty and easy and flirty and girly. Let's swatch this on the back of my hand first. This one also has a little bit of a metallic shift, but it is quite a bit brighter. So I think I'm gonna apply this one all over the movable part of my lid. Doesn't really show up on camera. I'm not seeing it as brightly as I'm seeing it in my mirror. Kind of looks like a very washed out color, but it's prettier with the naked eye. Definitely very, very easy to apply. I don't know if this is my thing, but it's okay, I guess. It's okay, it's definitely not bad. I'm not like, impressed or unimpressed. It's just like an easy everyday wearable pop of color. Oh, I see. So on the bottom of these crayons, it actually says whether it's a pearly or matte finish. So we have the black shadow stick, which is a matte. We have a white shadow stick, which is also a matte. And it looks like the rest of them are pearly finishes. Okay, that makes sense. So let me grab the black one now. Let me give it a little bit of a dark edge. Ooh, these are made in Germany. Doesn't say anything about them being waterproof, so I'm not sure if they are. Also, I'm not sure how quickly they set, but I'm gonna need to grab a brush and blend it out quickly. Ooh, blends out really smoothly. Fairly effortlessly, but it definitely does set, so this tells me that you have to move quicker than how I'm moving. You have a little bit of wiggle room here, but not a lot. So yeah, this eye, I definitely am not able to blend out any further. I waited too long, and now it's just 
kind of stuck there. No big deal, we shall fix it. But for now, we shall forget about it. We are going to move on to skin. So in the skin category, I have the new HD Skin Undetectable Foundation from Makeup Forever. Summerproof Skin is in with HD Skin. Cool. So we've got some new shades of the HD Skin. I believe I already have these but I am gonna use a deeper shade. This is 3Y40, which corresponds with the original Y405 in the Ultra HD foundation. I also have a matte setting powder in the shade Banana, and I have a Hydra Booster Step 1 primer. I am not someone who can benefit from hydrating primers, so I'm gonna skip this one. Instead, I'm gonna go for the Featherweight Protective Primer from Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas. This is not new, but it's been a while since I've tried this. So I'm gonna go ahead and smack this onto my pore zones. I know, I'm applying everything so backwards today, but you know what? I'm doing that strategic placement, so hopefully that will work in my favor. Just applying this to the pore zones, my nose, and I'm definitely seeing it mattify already. In between the brows, center of the forehead, just kind of beating it in gently, blending in with the rest of the makeup that I already have on my face. But yeah, wow, that actually did what it needed to do. Thank you. All right, let's move on to this Makeup Forever HD Skin shade Y340. Gonna apply some to the back of my hand first. Ooh, this is a very, very warm shade. Almost a little too satch, what I'm going for. I'm gonna grab a Makeup Forever brush. This one is the 116 Wavy brush. And I'm just gonna stipple this HD Skin foundation into my skin. I really like this foundation. I used it in the winter time, but this is my first time reaching for it in the warmer weather months. And so far, so good. I feel like that worked rather well. This foundation brush is just like a little too small for my face. I far prefer them on the larger side. So I can do this quickly because let's face it, I got a lot of face real estate and I need a bigger brush to move quicker across his face. But it's good for detail work, like around the nose, on the nose, but not for the forehead. Also, yesterday I went to the gym for the first time in almost two weeks because I'd been gone for 10 days. And let me tell you, my arm and my shoulder, both arms and shoulders are so sore that right now even doing the stippling motion is killing me. Woo! I gotta take breaks. I mean, definitely not bad. This shade is quite a pinch more saturated than even my tan. Although, maybe not so far off from my shoulder. Just like a little too orangey, not like a real tan. A real tan is never really truly orange, is it? I think that's like my biggest concern with foundation shades in the tan category. I just feel like olive is really hard to understand by most brands. It's really hard to find truly olive shades. Everything, everything in the middle range, especially like in that tan to caramel category, it just leans very orange. We will make it work with an orange corrector, not for the face, I'm just kidding. This is for the under eye. I actually was using this on my bride, my friend who was getting married in Barcelona. You know, she had been a little stressed naturally before the wedding, so she wasn't really sleeping very well, and you know, her under eye was just a bit heavier than normal. So I brought this with me to do her makeup, and then I was like, you know, I not really sleeping that great on vacation either. I was super, super jet lagged, even though I was super happy to be there and just like so thrilled and excited, but the jet lag was real. So I was using this nonstop and I totally feel like I rediscovered it and I re-fell in love with it all over again. This is such a great product. One of my favorite under eye correctors especially for medium tan skin. So the shade is peach and it is a true peach. It's not like a pale peach. It's just like a real saturated peach that you would want to use on your under eye to counteract the darkness. So I recommend it. I will link it below. And then on top, I'm just gonna use my beloved Fenty Beauty Bright Fix in the shade Melon, which right now is a little bit light for me. So it may come off a pinch bright, but that's okay. Next, I have a new powder to test out from Laura Mercier. This is the Translucent Loose Setting Powder Tone Up in the shade Rose or maybe Rose. So basically this is the same translucent setting powder that you're used to just in a new shade, a very pinky shade that I am gonna use for my under eye. Also for the pore zones because this is set to be smoothing. So we shall see how well it smooths. Oh yeah, oh yeah, very, very mattifying. Definitely has a smoothing, lifting finish. Great for this area. I'm gonna use that to set the pores as well. In between the brows, 
and just the center of the forehead. Also, I'm gonna do just a little bit of reverse contouring right here and right here. Oh yeah, so far I think I like. Hmm. For the rest of the face, I am gonna use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD setting powder in the shade Banana. This is a really nice powder, but it is very matte. So it's not something that I would necessarily use if I want a very healthy, natural looking glow. I think this powder adds just a little bit too much glam, but it is good for the summertime if you want to ensure that your makeup stays matte all day. You see that? Once I've added that to the forehead, it kind of just uh, started looking more like makeup than before. It's not a problem, but it is something to note. Love the cover. Laura Mercier, take note. Is that a little snooty? <laughs> Maybe. But you gotta give some constructive criticism to these brands. All right, moving on to blush. For today's blush, we have Pat McGrath Divine Blush. Gorgeous packaging, yes, yes, yes. We've got, oh, these are actually blush duos in Divine Rose. Oh, ta-da, so beautiful. Paradise Glow is the name of this blush duo. And Divine Rose Two is the name of this blush duo. Both look gorgeous to me, but I'm gonna go for the Divine Rose Two. I'm gonna go for the rosy shade first, or the more pinky shade of the two. Pick it up with my Refer 04 brush. Add that to the center of my cheek, and then blend that out. This is beautiful, this is glowy. I really love it. This is stunning, actually. <sighs> stunning. Very, very buildable blush also, and truly glowy as opposed to metallic. You see that? Feeling it. Okay, let's move on to some eyeliners because I definitely need to fix this mess that's on my eyes. Clearly, this ain't working. I made a bit of a mistake here, but we're testing makeup, so mistakes are allowed. I've got these new L'Oreal Infallible Grip 30 Hour Precision Felt Liners in a bunch of shades. I think I'm just gonna go for the black. Felt it marker. Nothing new or unusual here. Just gonna fix this mess. I'm gonna wing it out further than I normally do, like that. I'm gonna take it back along my crease, creating a graphic little moment for my eye, something like that. And then just covering up the mess. This is what I do to fix mistakes, especially unblended eyeshadow mistakes. I always just go over it with some sort of a graphic liner design. I feel like I personally am better at graphic looks than I am at soft smoky looks. Or maybe I just like graphic looks better, which is why I think I'm better at them. They're just easier for me because I have a very steady hand, but I'm not very patient when it comes to blending eyeshadow. All right, this looks like it worked out. I mean, there's still a bit of a mess happening inside, but we're gonna let it slide. This liner is pretty good, but perhaps it's only really good because it's new and because I'm using it over non-powder eyeshadow. I always find that felt tip markers and powder shadows don't work well together. Why? Because the felt tip has pores, they get contaminated with the powder, and then it basically ruins the product, which is why these don't last very long. So unless you're using them on your bare skin, they will dry out quickly. All right, now to make them match. Always tricky, but I'm just gonna wing it, quite literally. Winging it back. If you have a bit of a textured lid, like everyone has some texture in their lid, sometimes helps to just make tiny little strokes and taking your time with it. But then again, not everybody has a steady hand, so this technique might not be for everyone. I think we're getting somewhere. Not a bad marker. Okay, next, I have a new product from Fenty, and it is called the Toasted Swirl Bronze Shimmer Powder. This is what the packaging looks like. I have it here in two shades. I've got Chocolate sw Swiller, Swiller, Chocolate Swiller. I don't know what that is. Chocolate Swiller and Pecan Swiller. It's chocolate, pecan. Is it me or does this look more pecan than this? Okay, so I kind of know what to expect with this. This product is very shimmery and it says that it is specifically meant to add shimmer. So it's not a matte bronzer. It's not something that you could contour with. This is strictly for adding shimmer and shine and glow and sparkle. So I'm gonna swirl my brush in there. Picked up quite a lot of product. And right now, as you can see, my forehead is pretty matte. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding a bit of that Shimmer and shine and glow. That is very, very, very glowy. Perhaps this would be a really nice body glow powder, like on top of your shoulders, on your collarbone. I could see that looking really good in the summertime. Also gonna add this kind of like along my jawline, just for that subtle jawline glow. And then subtly across the cheekbones. I think that was nice. Maybe too nice though, maybe too much. But strategically placed nonetheless. I don't know, are we feeling it or too much? Let me know. 
So now at this point of the game, I need to do my eyebrows. I am going to reach for something easy. Let's see, what's easy around here? I'm gonna go for my foolproof brow powder from Benefit. This is in the shade five, I've had it forever. I'm just gonna mix the two colors and use the Bay Brow brush to extend my tail end here very softly and gently and just fill in the brow, the sparse areas of the brow. Honestly, I really like the way my brow looks. I feel like that was very easy and very effective. I like this combo. I really like this brush too. Very soft, but very precise. Okay, good stuff. All right, let's move on to... Let's try a mascara, shall we? Maybelline Sky High in Cosmic Black. Wait, I already have this one. I feel like I already have this one. I feel like I should not open this. I should save this for somebody. I'm pretty certain I have other mascaras that I can use. You know what? Let's go for my trusty Cali Ray. I use this one a lot. It's always handy. It's a clean mascara, but it's a trusty one. Got her. Meow. Okay, mascara is on, and uh, technically speaking, this look would come alive with a pair of false lashes, but I don't have any new false lashes to try. In fact, I don't really have any false lashes around me at the moment, so I think I'm just gonna skip false lashes, and I'm also gonna skip any color or any sort of product on my lower lash line. I kinda just wanna keep the drama on the top. Wanna keep it very graphic, very summery, very vibrant. Not so threatening, you know, like, approachable, if you will. So now I wanna move on to the lips. I have a lot of new products in the lip category to test out. I have some stuff from Fenty, their new Poutsicle Hydrating Lip Stains in all the shades. I have some stuff from Dose of Colors. I even have the latest lip launch from Half Magic by Donny Davy, Euphoria's makeup artist. So we've got new soft matte lip creams and also the Sculptitude 2-in-1 lip liners, all the new shades. But this is a product that I'm already familiar with and I think I'm gonna save that PR package for another video. What I really wanna test out today is actually from none other than Give by Gwen Stefani. So Give, spelled G-X-V-E, pronounced Give, is from Gwen Stefani's new line. And here we have their new lip products. Here is Gwen looking absolutely stunning. She was probably my first girl crush when I was like 11. She is amazing. I love her. I love all her songs. I've been following her career since I was a little kid. I'm gonna stop fangirling. But anyway, this is a clean, vegan, and cruelty-free makeup line. And what we have here is the Extra Sauce Longwear Vinyl Liquid Lipstick in Gwen's iconic red original recipe. Ooh. So here is the original recipe. Longwear vinyl liquid lipstick in extra sauce. And we also have the original me high performing matte lipsticks in four new shades. So I'm going to show you everything. Lastly, we've got a lightweight longwear matte liquid lipstick in the shade fishnets. Shake well before applying. Remove applicator slowly before first use. So this is the iconic red lipstick that I'm probably going to apply. But let me just show you the rest of the colors and the rest of the products. This here is a lip vinyl. So this is the I'm Still Here lip vinyl in the shade Fishnets. Here comes the Longwear Vinyl Liquid Lipstick in Extra Sauce. This apparently takes 60 seconds to set, so we will let it rest. And here are the matte lipsticks. We've got Stomp Box. We've got Laura, that is a stunning red. We've got 80s Me, that's a very interesting one. And the last one is Tragic Me. All right, so for my look today, although I originally wanted to go with a red, I'm just not feeling a red lipstick with this graphic eye. Something about it tells me that might be too much. So I think for my look today, I'm feeling this top shade here the most. Stomp Box is the name, so I'm gonna go for it. I already have my lips lined with, I believe it was uh, Dusk by Persona, one of my absolute favorite lip liner formulas, one of my favorite colors. So I'm just gonna reline and then I'm gonna go right in. So this one looks like a satin formula and a very pretty wearable neutral rosy shade. I like this one a lot. One last thing I wanna test out and apply to my face is this new Super Shock Cheek Pearlized Highlighter for the face. It's called Lunch Money. I just love ColourPop Super Shock formula. I like it for highlighters. They just think they're so cushiony and they're so nice to use. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that right on top. 
I love how it just melts with the skin and melts with the rest of the products without disrupting it. But it is pretty pigmented, so you can definitely build it up to virtually blinding. Really easy to work with. Always a delight to apply on. So that's it. That is my look, and I'm sticking to it. All right, let's discuss everything. Let's observe the skin and the face really closely. Skin looks really good. There is a little bit of separating of foundation and makeup in my nostril folds, which is typical. This is something that happens to me if I don't allow my skincare to sink in, and if I don't use certain specific primers to really help in that department, but because I was testing some skincare products and kind of going fast. This is something that is expected. Outside of that, the skin looks really good, almost flawless in my monitor. Not as flawless in my up-close mirror here than in my monitor. There's like a little bit of texture here peeking through, but nothing crazy, nothing dramatic. Overall, I would say everything looks pretty good, pretty decent. Probably like my favorite product from today's trial was the Pat McGrath blush. This was just a delight to work with. I'm always looking for that formula that gives you a glow without making your cheeks look metallic, without enhancing the texture from like my acne scars or pores or whatnot. And I really feel like this blush did that. It gave me the luminosity that I'm always seeking for, but without enhancing or without magnifying any of my texture or any of my like unwanted texture. So I think this was probably my favorite product from today. Outside of that, still loving the HD Skin Foundation. I've used it before. This is just a new shade that I grabbed. I really surprisingly did enjoy the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. I thought that it mattified fairly quickly. It felt really good on the skin. And overall, I'm definitely interested in trying it out with appropriate skincare or with like appropriate time of waiting for my skincare to set in sort of trial. Pleasantly surprised by the Laura Mercier Rose Translucent Setting Powder. I thought this was brilliant. This really brightened the under eye. It mattified and smoothed out everything, so I'm definitely going to reach for it again. I thought these uh, toasted swirl bronzers from Fenty did exactly what they said they were going to do. They added shimmer and glow to the complexion. This isn't something that I would use to sculpt my features. Instead, this is something that I would use to literally give myself that glow if I want to use a powder as opposed to like a liquid, something that I would definitely use on the body as well. I thought that the Give lipsticks were all pretty promising. Nothing that I hadn't seen before, but definitely pretty colors and definitely something that I'm gonna try out again. This felt tip liner from L'Oreal was good. It was better than I expected. I like the fact that the wand is a little bit stiffer than most felt tip wands, which to me, in my opinion, it gives you a little bit more control as an artist to draw precise lines. The only thing that I could probably live without from today's trial is sadly the about face crayons. Although the colors were cute, I just didn't feel like they were punchy enough. I didn't feel like they were interesting enough to be in a pearly formula, though I did enjoy the matte black. But overall, I've seen it before. It's not super interesting or innovative. Furthermore, I think the price is pretty steep on those. I'll give them another go, but I'm not impressed so far. What else? Ah yes, Bay Brow. My brows still look good. I really like this technique. I really like this product. Although I am seeing a little bit of a lift here in the outer portion of my brow. They look pretty well put together in the front and in the center. So I'm definitely gonna give this another try. So far, so good. Though I'll definitely need to see how it wears. ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter is great as always and per usual. This is just a new shade and I like it. So that is my story for today. That is my look for today. These are the products that I just came home to that I was really excited to try out and slap on my face. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for sticking around until the end, for hanging out with me. I hope my positive energy was felt through the screen. I was really trying to exude all of my newfound peace and tranquility and inspo that I just gained from visiting Barcelona. So I hope you felt that and I will definitely send you some more of that in my next video. So for now, I am going to zoom on out. You are going to click on my next couple of videos, check them out, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out and I'm out.